Stencils are one of the most versatile and affordable supplies you can use for card making and crafting. Today I'm going to show you my two favorite techniques and we're going to make two slimline birthday cards. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you two stencil techniques that I really like and that are gonna give you that wow effect when you make a card. You probably already know what a stencil is, but just in case, this is a stencil. There are so many of them, they are cheap and you can do so many amazing things with them. We are also going to make slim light cards. Those are taller and narrower than the standard size and I have to confess that at first I thought why would I make a slim light card when I can make two regular cards with the same amount of cardstock. Well, once you make one, you realize they are actually pretty impressive and different from anything else. So if you need an extra special card, I will definitely go with Slimline. So let's get started with the techniques and the cards. These are the supplies I'm going to be using today. These are the stencils I want to use. I will also use some dies and special dies for slim light cards. I'm also using my Distrexo siding, something to blend. And these are the front panels that I'm going to use for the cards. These are eight and a half and by three and a half inches. The first technique I want to share with you today is the tone on tone technique. For that we are going to take a piece of cardstock, in my case this is the front panel that I want to use for my card, and we are going to ink it up with whatever colors you like. Now we are not going to go very intense here with the colors, we are just going to apply a light blending. Once we are done with this first layer, we are going to take our stencil, we are going to put it over the piece of cardstock and then we are going to apply the same colors in the same order but now going really intense as much color as you can apply with your brush And look at how beautiful that turned out. I never get tired of this technique because it is so simple and yet the effect is amazing. So let's move on to the second technique. This time we're going to start with a white piece of cardstock and we are going to use our stencil over it. We're going to do one layer of ink and then we will continue with the technique. Once we are done with the first layer, we are going to take a second stencil with a different drawing or silhouette than the first one. And we are going to apply ink over both stencils. We are not going to remove the first one just yet. I think this is called double stenciling, but we are going to do something else after we apply this second layer. This is how it looks once we are done with the second layer and as you can see those flowers look like they are in the back and I like the effect but we are going to do something else and bring those flowers back to the front. To do that we are going to use the second stencil again, only the second stencil and we are going to apply the same colors that we used before. The only thing we need to be careful about is to place that stencil exactly where it was before. Thank you. 
so I love the result but I hate that half flower that goes in the middle I didn't realize that but it doesn't matter we're going to fix that later for now I'm going to repeat the process and add a couple more flowers And those are the techniques I wanted to share with you today. I think it's just amazing what you can do with stencils. But now let's move on with the cards and I wanted to show you how you can create a slim line card base. I have an 8.5 by 7 inches piece of cardstock and I'm going to fold it at 3.5 inches. That's how you make a slim line card. Now I'm going to turn these panels into birthday cards. Actually, you could turn them into anything you want, depending on the sentiment you use. And I will be using several supplies that I like. However, I don't want you to think you need to use everything that I'm using here. You can find what works for you, what you have on hand, because these panels are already really nice and you don't need to add much more to them. I wanted to add dimension to that sentiment so I die cut it again using foam. I'm going to stick them together and that way it's going to stand out from the background.
And as you can see, that flower I didn't like, or half flower, is now hidden behind the sentiment. So those were the two cards I wanted to share with you today. I hope you like them. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye! Thank you so much for watching. Here you have a couple more videos you might be interested in watching and you can also become a subscriber if you want. If you do so and even if you are already a subscriber, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything I post. Have a great day and see you again soon. Bye!